Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and today we are introducing the Divi pop-up module and the Divi content toggle module to our Divi Modules Pro plugin. Now, in case you missed it, we launched Divi Modules Pro a couple months back back and Divi Modules Pro is our all-in-one module plugin for Divi. So it's one plugin with a ton of amazing and useful creative modules for Divi. And so today we launched with 10 modules and then today we're adding two more modules, again, the pop-up module and the content toggle module. And we are super excited. So not only do our customers love all the amazing things that are built into Divi Modules Pro, all the awesome modules, but our customers also love the fact that it doesn't slow down their website. We spent a lot of extra time building in our dynamic asset framework to make sure that Divi Modules Pro, no matter how many modules we add, won't slow down your site. And so we made it so the module code is only loaded on the pages that you're actually using that specific module. And so the example we keep coming back to is the carousel module, which the carousel module uses a third party external JavaScript library to power the carousel. Well, we're not going to load that on every page of your site. If you're only loading or only have a carousel on one page of your website, we're only going to load all of the carousel code just on that one page where the carousel actually exists. And so that goes for all of our modules too. So super exciting to announce these two new modules. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick preview here of the new modules. Now this is the release post here on divilife.com that you're looking at here. And so uh, first things first, before we talk about the modules, let me just walk you through how we decided to release these modules. So we released initially with the plugin 10 modules and we basically guessed what 10 modules people were gonna love most and use most. And uh, we got some feedback from customers and stuff. But from here on out, what we're doing is we're letting you decide what modules we put in Divi Modules Pro. And so uh, at, shortly after the release of Divi Modules Pro, we had all of our All Access Pass members take a survey. And uh, these are the essentially the results, the top two results, I should say. Um, of that survey. So the pop-up module and the content toggle module was what our customers wanted most, specifically the all access pass members wanted most in Divi Modules Pro. And what's crazy is our all access pass members already have access to multiple pop-up solutions uh, from Divi Life. And so we, we have the Divi Overlays plugin, which was the original pop-up solution for Divi. It's the most powerful, the most popular. And uh, our customers have that already. And then also we acquired Divi Hacks a couple of years back, which also has pop-up functionality built in. And so what we realized after getting some feedback from customers is the pop-up module, having it built directly into Divi Modules Pro means it's one last plugin that they have to install. So if they're using the carousel module and then they're also using the uh, flip box and hover box and multi-button module, then having the pop-up module built in means they don't have to go and install another plugin. And so that's the beauty of having the pop-up module. Now, just to be clear, we're not abandoning Divi overlays and Divi hacks and all the other pop-up solutions we have. Um, they're still going to be there and still going to be even more powerful too. Uh, we're going to be releasing Divi overlays 3.0 soon, which is a complete rebuild with lots more functionality. And Divi overlays will always be our most powerful feature rich, pop-up solution for Divi. But a lot of times you don't need all that extra functionality if you just need you know one or two simple pop-ups. And so that's where the pop-up module comes in. And so super excited to show it to you here. I'm gonna show you the demo in a second. Um, but the pop-up module lets you stay in the visual builder to create simple modal style pop-ups. So for example, with Divi overlays, you go to a separate area of the website, a custom post type where, where all of your pop-ups are managed. And then you add it on the page um, if you're creating a click trigger or from the Divi overlays area, you uh, select where you want it to automatically trigger. But with the pop-up module, if you're building a page and you want to add a, a simple button pop-up, then you can do that without ever leaving the page. And so the pop-up module has text boxes this built in where you can create simple pop-ups like this that you can see on my screen here. 
And so uh, we call them modal style pop-ups because it's just some text. Uh, you know, you can maybe add an image in there, but that's it. Um, however, the pop-up module does let you create really gorgeous, uh, very design-centric pop-ups just like Divi Overlays does because the pop-up module also lets you use a library item from your Divi library as the pop-up content. And so you can see here we have in the body section of the pop-up content, the content type, this, the default is text, but you can also select library layout, or you can select video if you want to add a, a, a video pop-up. And so you can create really gorgeous uh, pop-ups just like this using the Divi Builder, and then use it within the Divi pop-up module. So it's very, very cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the module. So this is a time delay opt-in uh, or time delay pop-up with the Divi pop-up module. So we have a display right when you land on the page. Obviously you can control everything in the settings when you want it to display how often. And so there's three trigger types. There's uh, trick, uh, click trigger, which is clicking on a button, clicking on text, clicking on an icon, clicking on an image to trigger a pop-up. Um, so that's the first type of trigger. Then the second type is a time delay trigger, which is what you see right here, which is it's going to display on page load like this one, or it's going to display after a set amount of time. So 10 seconds, five seconds, whatever you want it, want it to be. And then the third is exit intent. I'm going to show you that here in a second as well. And so you have three different trigger types built into the Divi pop-up module with Divi Modules Pro. So I'm going to close that. So this is the demo and you can look at it, of course, on your own website, but, um, this is the simple pop-up demo we have in the screenshot on the blog post here. You can have a button to close it, close icon. You can also click outside to close it as well. And then this is the one, uh, the more advanced design pop-up, which is using a Divi library item. And so it's more complex, has buttons inside, has images, has drop shadows, everything. So that's using the library layout. And so you can do a lot more with designing your pop-up when you use a library layout. And then here's a video pop-up example. So uh, we don't have autoplay turned on, but you can make it so as soon as you click this, the video starts playing. Uh, but we turn that off because some people just don't like that. <laughs> so uh, we'll go ahead and close that there. And then this right here talks about what I already mentioned, click triggers, time delay, exit intent. Now what makes the pop-up module also really cool is it takes advantage of the normal advanced functionality that's built into every single Divi module. So for example, last year Divi release conditions into every area of Divi modules, sections, rows, everything, where you can put in advanced conditions in order for that section, row, or module to display. Well, this also works with our pop-ups so for example, you can set a time delay pop-up, but what if you only want it to display if the user is logged out? So if the user is already a member on your site, you don't want to display the pop-up, well, you can do that with the pop-up conditions. Very, very cool. And then also, uh, because the Divi pop-up module is a module, you are typically going to be uh, adding it on a per page basis. However, you don't have to. You can open up the Divi theme builder and add a global pop-up and essentially, if you have a custom header, a custom footer, whatever, you just add it there and then it'll display wherever. So if it's a click trigger pop-up, you want a, something in your footer that says click here to contact us, well, you add it to your, your footer theme builder layout um, and then it's gonna appear there. That button's, you're gonna see that button on every single page where that custom footer is shown. However, you can also do the same thing with uh, automatic triggers. So a time delay or exit intent, you add it to the theme builder layout it doesn't show up visually uh, on the front end of the site. There's no click trigger to show, but it will display automatically anywhere that that uh, header, global header or global footer is displaying. And then if you combine these two, adding the pop-up module to a global theme builder layout, and then also use some of the pop-up conditions, well, now you can fine tune it because maybe you have the footer displaying on every single page of your website, but you only want the pop-up to display on certain types of pages and stuff like that. Well, you can do that without having to create a whole nother 
uh, theme builder layout. So very, very cool. There's so much functionality. With the pop-up conditions, you can do scheduling. So you can schedule it to only appear on certain days and recurring and stuff like that. So being able to take advantage of what Divi already has, Divi did the heavy lifting, we're just able to take advantage of it with the Divi pop-up module. So as I mentioned, Divi overlays will always be our most powerful feature-rich pop-up solution uh, that we create. Uh, and so uh, if you need some really advanced pop-ups with all these really advanced features, it, you might not get it in the pop-up module, um, but especially after we release Divi Overlays 3.0 with some groundbreaking new features, that's going to be the most epic pop-up solution. However, as I mentioned, if you only need a couple pop-ups here and there, then using what you're already uh, have in Divi Modules Pro, if you're using Divi Modules Pro for um, other features, having that built in is super convenient, not having to add another plugin. And so um, so this is the, the demo, and we're gonna create more uh, layouts for uh, the pop-up module. However, if you are a Divi Overlays customer already, or you're an all access pass member, well, you already have access to all of the Divi overlays layout templates that we have because it's all built with Divi. Now you can use those, make sure they're in your Divi library and you can use them with the pop-up module as well. And so you have that ability already. So super excited about this pop-up module. Not only is it really cool, but it's also exactly what our customers requested. And so we're super happy to be able to deliver this. Um, so that's the pop-up module. Now, of course, the second module is the toggle module. Now, the toggle module is incredibly useful. Most often, what you see out there in the wild on, on real websites is you see the, the toggle being used for pricing tables. So if you have some sort of uh, subscription service and you have monthly pricing and you have annual pricing, well, being able to have users toggle between the two without having to scroll down to see the other options is incredibly useful. Um, and so that's the most common option, but that's not the only option. And so let me just load this demo page here. So again, we have the monthly and annual, but then we also have some ability to do things like this too, lunch menu, dinner menu, uh, we've all been on restaurant menus. I don't know what it about what it is about restaurant websites, but uh, most restaurant websites have terribly designed menus that are hard to read. They're usually like PDF and stuff. And so we have the restaurant menu module built into Divi Modules Pro to be able to easily create uh, really beautiful restaurant menus easily. And so now you can combine that with the content toggle menu to do things like this. So you don't have to have separate pages for the lunch menu and the dinner menu and stuff like that. You can just put a toggle and it'll change the menu uh, based off of what the user clicks. And so this is, uh, for us, we're actually gonna be updating our pricing page to utilize this where customers have the ability to purchase Divi Modules Pro individually, and then we have pricing for that. But then also it's included in our all access pass. And so being able to toggle between the two, really useful, because right now, how we have it until we update it with this is that the user has to scroll down in order to see the all access pass pricing, which they may miss. Uh, and then our last example here is for a customer service uh, and being able to toggle between sales and support. And so uh, for companies that have uh, a sales office and support office and, and stuff like that, you can toggle between the two and show to different locations, a different form, uh, different phone numbers and emails and stuff like that. So lots of, of ideas of how you can utilize this and make it really user friendly for uh, your clients and your, um, your clients' website visitors because it makes it easier for the user to not have to scroll down to see additional options or navigate to a whole, whole other page. They're able to toggle between the two to see two different options. So the way that the plugin is built uh, is you can use, nor, just like the, the pop-up module, it has text boxes built in. So if you want to toggle between two different uh, blocks of text, you can do that. Obviously that doesn't give you a whole lot of flexibility of the type of content that you can toggle between. And so again, just like the pop-up module, you can use a Divi library layout. And so all of these examples here are using, oops, uh, are using Divi library layouts to be able to toggle between the two. So this is a library layout for the monthly pricing, 
and then we have another library layout for the same pricing just the annual version and then same thing we have a lunch menu library layout and a dinner menu so you're able to, to do that super easily uh, so that is the content toggle module now as i already mentioned when i showed in the content toggle um, you have the ability to purchase divi modules pro individually as well as in our all access pass which includes everything we have, which is 75 plus products uh, for Divi, all of our plugins, all of our child themes, all of our layouts, everything. So uh, yeah, that is the new pop-up module, the new content toggle module. Uh, again, we're super excited to continue creating the modules that our members are requesting. And so this is just the first step in that direction. And so you can see here, it, uh, the survey software ranked what was most requested. So there's a lot more that we didn't include in the screenshot that we're going to be working on and, and releasing. And so i um, super excited to be able to deliver that to you guys. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, try it out. Download the new version. Let us know. We also have some additional changes that were made to some of the existing 10 modules that we launched uh, in the 1.0 version of Divi Modules Pro uh, to make things more user-friendly, reorganize some of the modules. So hopefully you find that useful too. So um, that is it for this video. Uh, we will definitely uh, see you on the next video as we plan to release even more features and modules for Divi Modules Pro. Take care. Bye-bye.